Today, we'll bring to light Edward H. Young, who said he was a follower of the prophet Abdul Baha in the 1920s. We'll be reviewing his gnosis, and I'll give you a conclusion at the end, brothers and sisters, Islam. The secrets of the ancient wisdom are to be unfolded. The wonders of the Magi are to be known. The occult powers of the universe are to be gradually made clear to the human race. Islam to that. And the marvelous science which has come down in the hidden brotherhood since the beginning of time is to be taught to the children of men. For the age has come when the vast knowledge and power concealed in men and nature are to be used. Just like at the beginning of the circle seven, you know, this ancient knowledge, the keys has been released. A Washington adept or master of occult science is to be one of the first teachers to open the way. This is Edward H. Young, who has knowledge of the Magi, one of the oldest fraternities in the world. A fraternity born long before man had a written history and whose priests were those sent to greet the infant Christ, which we know are the Moors. Mr. Young is also an ardent follower of Abdul Baha and will preach the teachings of the Persian prophet along with his explanation of the forces of the secret powers of nature known to occults. His name is known in the innermost circles of the occult brotherhood. He insists and he is now delegated to go forth and teach to the world the strange truths. He had more of a warrant of authority than these Masons. At least he received a blessing to go on and lay his offering upon the shrine of Allah. The order of the Magi exists today as it did 20,000 years ago. It has a few initiates in almost every country of the world, banded together by a common knowledge, which are basically what the sages was. Banded together by a common knowledge which their wondrous spiritual powers have drawn from the universe. They understand the laws of the operations of spirit and matter in the cosmic universe. Mm. They are familiar with the signs to be read of the stars, and they have control over many spirits of the unseen world. They possess the secrets of magic, by which the unknown laws of nature can be called upon for seeming miracles. But the magic they practice is the white magic of good to their fellow man, while on the black magicians is left the dark powers which unfortunately can be called upon for doing evil. Which Noble Drali said, who all in here can do work, you know, and he said, I'll kill you all. Those who have been initiated have passed out into the unseen ethereal world in their astral or spiritual body and have learned the great worlds of creatures, high and low, as above, so below which surrounds us on every side. All these things have hitherto been known only in secret to the inner circles of esoterics, but now they are to be known to the outer world of exoterics. And that's what's in the beginning of the Prophet's Quran. Our means by which we will bring it out is the teaching of Baha'ism, but Nobu Ali chose to bring it through Islamism. Same thing, same harmony which is a modern unfolding of ancient wisdom. So Baha'ism is the modern unfolding of ancient wisdom, and Islamism is the unfolding of the old time religion. A continuation of the revelations made in different ages of the truths and powers of the omnipotent and the invisible world surrounding us, contained in Bibles. And these occult circles have been the most wonderful men in their ages, men like Paracelsus, Apollonius, Tyana, the Hindu mystics, the magicians of Egypt, the wise men of Chaldea, the great teachers of all nations, all times and all people, the men who fashioned the Sphinx, who built cities before Abraham was born, who read the stars when men began to be conscious of his own spirit. Occultism is contained in the Bibles of all nations. That's all the uniting of Asia. And the Kabbalah of the Jews, the Zendavesta of the Persians, the Vedas of the Hindus, the Old and New Testaments are all full of symbology, but their meanings is yet hidden. That's true indeed, brothers and sisters. That the time has come for this, he is convinced. Before his death a few weeks ago, Abdul Baha appointed Mr. Young to start on a mission. The schools of the ancient mysteries and the great religions of the world are all connected, he explained. The temples of the Christians, Hebrews, and Egyptians have all a common form. This was the outer court, the inner court, and the holy of holies. 
The great temple, the Pyramid of Giza, is a structure built thousands of years ago under divine guidance, and it embodies many wonderful truths. Within it is the secret of the squaring of the circle, the weight of the earth, the distance of the earth from the sun, the orientation of the earth, the geographical center of the globe, the apocryphal portrayal of world history, a calendar and other truths portrayed as symbols understood alone by the initiates. This is all Noble Drali and more science, brothers and sisters, but it's in another form that was in line. Another connection is the knowledge by the initiate of the interpretation of the Sephoric tree of life passed down among the Jews for so many ages that its origin is lost in the mists of time. Another is the meaning of the fish symbol so often found amid the chapels of the early Christian catacombs in Rome. The ideas of the alchemists of the 15th century have passed down to the present day, and those who understand can read the connection of the occult symbolic picture in which the two pillars have the J and the B on their face. Adepts know by inner enlightenment the secrets and truths of the cosmic world, the nature of man, the law of nature, of this planet and the spirit world, the powers that govern the different regions of the universe. And by the wonderful powers latent within him, powers hidden, yet full of miraculous strength, man is a little lower than the angels. Uh, we know that the Moors are the angels that protect the city of Mecca. And it will be my duty to unfold this hidden, occult, mystic, ancient knowledge to the world of today. This is the commencement of a new age and the end of an age which will end in a great disaster by which many millions will be destroyed, but which will finally culminate then in a most glorious spiritual world. For hundreds of years, men have laughed at the superstitions of the Middle Ages and the ancient world. This is only modern ignorance. The philosopher's stone is a fact. That the baser metals can be transmitted into gold is a fact which has been known but hidden for centuries. It is within the range of human power to cure most diseases by the latent force within. And I want to speak about the story that Brother Cook was speaking about, Brother Cook Bay. He said he was in Nobujarali's home, living on the second floor. He just, you know, he had his wife. He was learning how to be a husband and she was learning how to be a wife. But there was another mother there that was bleeding through her ears or her nose and she was downstairs and the prophet was moving around the house doing what he does but they was trying to help her and they was doing things like putting different scissors inside of her hair and trying to do just different things well finally the prophet went in there and looked her in her eyes and the bleeding stopped and then she went in her room and rested that's what brother cook bay said to prolong human life many spans to control the spirits which surround us in the next plane, to visit the invisible worlds of the cosmic universe, to read the great races, events, and history of the world's evolution from the time it was chaos up through its life long ago, to see the human race as it evolved from the first protoplasm, from the mineral, the vegetable, and the animal kingdom, up to man as he is today. And that Nobujar Ali in the fall of man, so... He's getting around the information that Noble Drew Ali was around, but I'm still not hearing anything of, I'm hearing of brotherhood, but nothing of identity of nationality. But nature's laws hidden. Occult science has told us that man first corresponded to a lower form of life, that he came up as though from the fish, from the four-footed beast, that he was first bisexual or the two sexes in one. That at first he had a third eye and many organs now vanishing from disease. The glands of the body who use is now unknown to science, such as the pineal gland in the brain. And this is in the 20s, this European speaking of the pineal gland. And you got, you got Asiatics today saying they're conscious and they ain't heard nothing about no pineal gland. Such as the pineal gland in the brain were once more important organs to the race in its infancy on this globe. Modern science is every day making some discovery which proves the truth of facts known to occultists for thousands of years. The power of God has been manifested in different ages in different great men. Buddha, Mohammed, Abraham, Confucius. That's exactly how it's worded too. And that's how Nobujar Ali's card is, 
You know, we honor all true and divine prophets, Buddha, Confucius, Muhammad, Jesus. But this one says Buddha, Muhammad, Abraham, Confucius were all enlightened in different degrees by the great spirit of God who rules this earth. Christ was a manifestation of the supreme, absolute or throne God. The Baha religion is a new dispension, which is to carry out a new cycle of religious truths. But they're still holding up one prophet when they all came with the same. So they're all equal in the eyes of law, but they was potent because they was thoughts of Allah manifested in flesh to bring the message to us. But they on the track, but like they said, it's modern. Noah Drali came with the old time, that stone that can't be broke. I believe that great Persian Baha Olah who died a few years ago was a manifestation of divinity for this age. This faith I will preach and teach the world over. I am ready to speak for all those whom wish to hear. Well, I wish he came across Noble Drew Ali, and this brother might have might have very well came to him after this. And you know, I'm, I imagine Noble Drew Ali smiled from ear to ear hearing this European, you know. But I'm sure he would have corrected him too on different things. But practicing under your own vine and fig tree. But I am also an initiate, a member of an occult fraternity whose knowledge of the wondrous laws of nature, laws hidden for thousands of years, it is deemed wise to now begin to proclaim to the world. I will wear the robes of my order, that of the Magi, that is covered with symbols which only those of the inner circle can understand. These symbolic truths were known to the early Christian St. Paul, which we know he converted. He was Saul. And Yehoshua called out and said, Saul, and he, de he decided to convert to Greek, and now he's Paul. Paul was a traitor, was an initiate, and so was St. John. Now, honors to John. The time has come to do away with war, with prejudices of all kinds with hatreds of nations against nations for universal peace. That's what Noble Drali was pushing. He must have been around Noble Drali for a universal language, which is from a universal prophet, Noble Drali. For the education of all, for the brotherhood of man, for the union of science and religion and the full participation of women in every activity of life. That's uplifting, uplifting fallen humanity and that's mother. Mr. Young is a Washington man who has been actively identified with religious movements and uplift work here for years and has become well known upon the lecture platform on occult and mystical subjects, particularly his explanation of the Baha teachings. This he has made his life study. He believes that the race is ready for this teaching, hungry for the new truths, and is very ready himself to instruct those desiring knowledge. Is the world to see a new era? of spiritual and intellectual power? Perhaps so. If the secrets of the mystery past are to be unveiled, if the opening wedge is to be this work of a Washington man, strange things and many wonders can be predicted for the coming ages. Man, this was the 1920s again. So the conclusion for me is, the European Muslim son was on the right track, brothers and sisters. I'd rather have this type of higher being dealing with me and my brothers than some mercenary trying to beat you down and keep you dead. So he was on the right tr uh, on the right track. And oh, I pray to Allah he came across Noble Drew Ali because it sounds like he was around that information because at the end he started speaking about, you know, universal brotherhood and nation and all of that. So the brother was on the right track. And that's why I wanted to bring this brother back to light bring him out of the grave so everybody can see in the 1920s this brother was doing his adept studies you know he's me then you know what i'm saying and he was around some real potent real magi adepts and i've been around and i've spoken and built with many many moorish adepts so islam to this muslim son you know we we honor all true and divine prophets that bring the same universal teaching of love truth peace freedom and justice noble Ali said the european was helping him why not you this may have well could have been one of the brothers i'm sure noble Ali had to have seen this and wanted to speak with the brother and and I hope it happened because I hope he got his mind right. Islam, brothers and sisters, I hope you enjoyed the demonstration. Divine honors to Prophet Nobu Drali and the Moors Divine and National Movement of the World. Praise be to Allah.